My name is Santri Kangas and I'm the CTO at Kujo. From the very beginning, DNS has, for example, been unencrypted. Now, this is about to change. We foresee that soon all the providers will encrypt their DNS. Now, there's of course also the other phenomena that websites are applying more and more TLS protection. So more and more of the internet traffic is being encrypted. Well, in, in our homes now already, uh, we have more IoT devices than we have kind of traditional endpoints like PCs or, or mobile devices. These IoT devices are computers like your mobile phone or your PC. They, they have equal capabilities, some of them are very powerful, they are connected to the internet, they are sitting in your home and you don't really have much of control over them. It's, it's rare that consumers, for example, batch their IoT devices and consumers don't have, they don't have any idea what the IoT device is actually doing in the network or whether the IoT device is purely on their control or whether the IoT device has actually been taken over by, by mal for malicious purposes. So, for the last decade, uh, we have seen a, a massive amount of uh, malicious code and, uh, and more and more uh, also consumers are being uh, attacked and malware is just of course a, a one of the attack vehicles in typically very complicated attack pattern so what the what the hackers have on their side are very advanced uh, ecosystems that they use it's important to detect the, the patterns because it's impossible uh, to, to keep track of the of the of the malware or of the sites uh, with signatures, like DNS blacklisting. So DNS blacklists are being built based on uh, knowledge already of those malicious sites or uh, all the security companies tracking the malware behavior, tracking the attack patterns, tracking exchange, and then posting those bad sites, command and control servers, you name it, to the known blacklist. So this is, uh, not proactive mechanism. This happens after the fact. And uh, the malicious sites, malicious command and control servers and the likes, they, they are very short living. So they appear and disappear and appear somewhere else again. So it's very important to actually detect the pattern instead of uh, those kind of endpoints of, of the attack.